Hello everyone, I am Safras from mobilesmspeaker.net and today I am going to review Qmobile Noe J5. So let's get started. I have already made unboxing video of Qmobile Noe J5 and recommending you to watch that video as well. Qmobile Noe J5 is latest phone from Qmobile which has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution. Phone has 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera and powered by 1.3 GHz quad core processor coupled with 2 GB of RAM. This phone is actually made by Xiaomi which is a Chinese company. This phone is not officially announced by Xiaomi yet but most probably model name would be Xiaomi P7. Let's start with call quality of the phone. Call quality is very good, voices are crisp and clear on both ends. I have not faced any distortion during my testing. Let me give you physical overview of the phone. On front there is 5 megapixel camera along with sensor, 5 inch HD IPS screen and navigational buttons below the screen. This is how notification LED looks. On top of the phone there is 3.5mm headphone jack, volume rockers and power button on the right, micro USB port and microphone on the bottom. Nothing on left side of the phone. On back there is 8 megapixel camera along with LED flash and speaker grill at the bottom. Just like Qmobile J7, back cover is made of shiny plastic with ripple effects but it is fingerprint magnet. There are dedicated navigational buttons but they do not light up so you might face problem to use them in dark. Build quality of the phone is very good. Phone feels solid and sturdy, even though it is made of plastic, but phone does not feel cheap. Let me show you the weight of the phone. Phone has 16 GB of internal storage, from which around 9.3 GB is available out of the box. You can always expand internal storage through micro SD card slot. Phone supports up to 128 GB card. Phone comes with 2 GB of RAM, from which 1 GB is available on first boot. Phone has dedicated dual SIM slots and separate micro SD card slot, so you can use two SIMs and micro SD cards simultaneously. Phone supports 4G LTE and up to 128 GB micro SD card. Sound is loud and clear on the phone. I don't prefer speakers on the back of the phone as it can be easily muffled when you put your phone on the desk. Let me show you how loud the speaker is. Phone has 5 inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution and 320 dpi. Display looks bright and sharp, color saturation is good, but color tone is little bit on cooler side. Viewing angles are impressive of the phone. Even though it is not a full HD display, but you won't notice any pixel on the phones. Sunlight visibility is acceptable, you can use this phone outside without any problem. You need to crank up the brightness to full to use it at outdoors. There's a theme park app installed on the phone which provide additional themes and this is how they looks like. Collection of wallpapers is also available on theme park app. There is animated clock widget as well which animates when you touch on that. And if you don't like themes available on theme park app then you can create custom themes on chameleon app. This is how you can create theme using chameleon app. Phone is powered by 1.3 GHz quad core processor with MediaTek MT6735 chipset and has 2 GB of RAM and Mali T720 GPU.
फोन हैज़ एक्सेलरोमीटर प्रोक्सीमिटी लाइट एंड मैग्नेटिक सेंसर्स लेट मी शो यू द बेंच मार्क स्कोर हेयर इज एंट्री टू स्कोर एंड हेयर इज द गीक बेंच सिंगल एंड मल्टी कोर स्कोर आई विल मेक कंपेरिजन एंड स्पीड टेस्ट वीडियो ऑफ क्यू मोबाइल नोए जे फाइव एंड जे सेवन सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल येट प्लीज डू इट नाउ सो यू विल गेट द अलर्ट वैन दैट वीडियो विल बी अवेलेबल इवन दो फोन हैज ओनली टू जी बी ऑफ रैम एंड फ्राम विच वन जी बी इज ऑलरेडी कंज्यूम बाई अमीगो यू आई फोन इज सरप्राइजिंगली परफॉर्मिंग वेरी वेल इन डे टू डे टास्क एंड आई हैव नॉट नोटिस एनी लेग और हिकअप्स फोन सपोर्ट्स अप टू फाइव फिंगर टच फोन डज सपोर्ट्स ओ टी जी एंड यू कैन रन मीडिया फाइल्स डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल पेन ड्राइव Mobile Noi J5 is run on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Amigo 3.2 UI. This UI comes only with Xiaomi phones, so whenever you see this UI, you can guess that phone must be made by Xiaomi. Amigo UI is inspired by iOS and just like iOS, notification slider is located at the top. And to access quick toggle slider, you need to slide up from bottom. There's a fake call option available on the phone which mimics like a real call and you will get fake call after 15 seconds. And if you want to take a screenshot of long screen then you can do so by using super screenshot option and this is how you can do that. If you are running out of battery and don't have facility to charge the phone then you can switch your phone to extreme power saving mode On this mode you can only perform basic task on the phone but on the other hand your phone battery can survive for several more hours Let's take a look at some of the additional features available in advanced setting menu There are number of gestures available on the phone Let me show you couple of them As name suggest you can wake up the phone by double tapping on the screen Here is the black screen gestures from which you can open certain apps by drawing symbols on the screen when phone is on sleeping mode You can also assign apps to some of the available symbols Phone has quick button feature and when you enable it a floating mobile button will appears on the screen which has number of useful shortcuts available like you can shrink down the screen size to easily use it from one hand you can hide this button by long pressing on it there is an option to set the schedule time to power off or on the phone automatically this feature is useful if you want to power off the phone at night hours while sleeping Mobile phones usually comes with number of bloatwares and this phone is not exception. Some useful apps are pre-installed on the phone like file manager, system manager, Facebook, WhatsApp, theme park and Chameleon. There is a game load folder which contains four games and these games cannot be deleted and because these are only trial versions so you cannot play them either but you can disable them. Phone is powered by 2300 milliampere user replaceable battery. Battery timing of Q Mobile J5 is average. I have managed to get around 3 hours of screen on time with maximum brightness during my testing. So it is quite possible you might get better battery time. It takes around 1 hour and 45 minutes to charge the phone. Phone comes with 8 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera. Quality of back camera is average but interface is very intuitive. There are number of modes available on the phone. You can pause this video to watch them all. Front flash is missing on the phone, but you can use screen flash to take selfies in dark environments. Phone can capture up to 1080p videos. Let me show you the shutter speed and picture quality of the camera.
Here is the picture quality of 8 megapixel back camera. You can notice that details are not clear of the picture when you zoom it. Here is the picture quality of 5 megapixel front camera. Details are not clear on front camera as well. This phone is the cheaper variant of Qmobile J7 but hardware is below par on its price segment. Phone has good build quality, stylish looks, vibrant skin and user replaceable battery. But there are few drawbacks as well like fingerprint sensor is missing, average battery life, back cover is fingerprint magnet, only 2 GB of RAM. It is difficult to recommend this phone in this price range. There are better options available in market within same price segment like Qmobile S6 and LT700 Pro. So that was the review of Qmobile Noir J5. Gaming review of Qmobile J5 will be available soon on this channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions, do let me know in the comment section below. For more information, please do visit my website.